Giant cheerleaders, and you're watching 409 Sports Blitz on 12 News. And welcome back to the 409 Sports Blitz, week four, one of the last weeks full of non-district games. There are a few teams going to be playing non-district football next week, but next week, a lot of big-time matchups. I can't wait. Yeah, so it's your final chance to kind of get the kinks out, right? knock off any of that rust, and then it's go time all of a sudden. It starts to matter. Of course, that doesn't mean we didn't have any great games this week. In fact, we had a game that came down to two points oh, yeah. between East Chambers and Lumberton with the Buccaneers pulling it out 23-21. to Letitia Key, Kehi, sorry about that, Letitia, uh, standing by live out there in Winnie at Buccaneers Stadium. She was there for all the action, and Letitia, you got to see a good one tonight. Hey, Ashley, Cam, this was a great game. I will have to say, Cam did pick East Chambers to win, uh, and Ashley, you actually picked Lumberton, so I don't know what that means, if somebody's going to buy, be buying somebody lunch or dinner, or if it's a little time off at the office, but you know what I mean, Cam? Congratulations, your pick was correct tonight. However, it could have went either way. This game was so close again, final score of 23-21, and uh, I will say it looked early on that East Chambers was going to run away with the game, but actually, Lumberton just James head coach, Lumberton head coach James Reyes always preaches the motto to his team, full throttle. So they really just kept chipping away and chipping away and never giving up. Even after being picked off, quarterback Lucas Powell, you know, came back to score. And that's a part of that short-term memory of never giving up, forgetting what happened on the last, last play and just continuing to play through it. Now, East Chambers, I mean, they stayed poised and loyal to the running game. Running back Hayden Reeves with lots of touches tonight. If he wasn't scoring, he was definitely giving his team good field position and extra yardage on plays. Quarterback Jacoby Peralt doing it with his feet. I mean, it was him. It was a total team effort, but he genuinely had gave it everything with his feet tonight and finding who was open and getting his team all involved to contribute. Now, the edge may have been the gutsy play calling by East Chambers because on a third down, uh, it was fourth down and one, they had to convert and they did. And that's what they did the entire night was continue to make plays and doing that with the knowledge that, hey, we know we need to score. We're going to do it. And they did. So, you know, both teams really just giving it a great effort. Neither team has anything to be ashamed of. However, we're going to have to see if um, East Chambers can continue rolling. They do take on Harden next week. So we'll have to watch and see. Letitia, I'm, I'm hoping you can hear me right now. Can you hear me right there out there, Winnie? Can you? 